guys welcome back to my channel mommy's list i'm going to cook some pork chops today i'm at my mom's house this way the lamp is there so yeah i have the pork chops already cut up into chunks there i'm gonna try and see if i can get better lighting but yeah all right guys we got light so i have my pork chops chopped up i have um medillo yellow um coloring oh that's nice I have um, broiled steak seasoning, and of course, you can't go without the big tub of adobo. So I have some um, the pork chops here. Move that out of the way. Nice and pretty. I just chopped them up into smaller bits. I'm um, slicing up some green pepper, and then I'm going to cut up some onion into some strips um, about that that much a thickness of a half an inch thick and I'm gonna season it and then I'm gonna throw it in the oven and see how it comes out and I have some carrots too just to add a little bit more flavor here's my onion it's just a yellow onion I'm gonna cut up so I'm gonna cut up the vegetables and then I'm gonna season the meat and then I'll show you guys that okay so what I'm doing is I'm just cutting the pepper in half I'm cutting the top of it off which I have here it's the top and I cut it in half, and then I'm just going to cut it into little half rings. So that's what I'm doing now. I need to like move everything over. <laughs> you can see me do it. <laughs> and I'm putting them in a bowl, because I'm going to put all this peppers and stuff first in the bowl. And then, you guys can see it. Just make sure not to cut myself on channel. I have never cut my fingers before using a knife, but you know when you're trying to show people how to do something and something always goes wrong. So if something always happens, you always end up cutting your fingers and stuff. And of course it didn't show me cutting it because the plate is in the way. Duh. So <laughs> gonna go ahead and this is like a really soft pepper. I don't know why. It won't let me cut it. I'm gonna leave that in for later. There's the oven. So I'm just gonna slice these up and then I'm gonna use the other pepper and these chunks. I'm gonna actually cut them up and put them in the freezer for later. So I'm gonna take this skin off here. Ew. Why is it like that? Alright, gonna take all that nasty skin off of it. Remove a few layers if I have to. Probably just that one layer. Yeah, it's just that one layer. It's nice and clean now. So I'm gonna do the same with the onion. He's fighting with Grandpa. He's mad at Grandpa. You hear him back there? I should probably cut it over here before it starts falling through the side of the where the stove is at. Like I said, I'm at my mom's house, so don't yell at me saying I need to know where, where how to cut and stuff in my kitchen because this ain't my kitchen. Like I said, you want them a little bit thick. I'm, not, I'm just going to throw that piece out. I'm not going to use that piece. And I'm going to keep this. Now, if you wanted to, you could like saute your veggies first and then put them in. But I'm just going to have them cook with the meat to incorporate those flavors. One more slice. Yep, that's good. All right. So we got those. So I'll chop now. Alright, so we got our peppers and our onions. And now I'm just going to get a potato peeler and then I'll cut the carrot. So what I like to do if I'm peeling on top of a counter, this is a really thin carrot. Um, I put a paper towel down and I peel on to the paper towel. And that way I just pick everything up with the paper towel. It's a really shiny carrot. It's really 
They're really thin and flimsy. Really thin and flimsy. I'm just going to show you one carrot. Dry peeling. I'm just going to. I'm probably going to cut it up in little rounds. You can use like baby carrots. Just buy a bag of baby carrots and throw them in. But my parents just have the long carrots, so my brothers are yelling in the background. Younger brothers, so of course they're going to be fighting in the background. It's just a little bit. Cut the end. This is a really soft carrot. It's really thin. And then I'm just going to cut it into little round spools. I'm just pushing it along. I don't know if you can see me. Just pushing it ever so slightly. one carrot I'm gonna do probably two more carrots and then I'll be back all right so I'm done with the veggies look at how pretty that oh they look so pretty it's a nice and vibrant contrast of the colors yes so start off with adobo just a nice sprinkling of this on top this is our flavor this also has the salt in it so not too much salt don't need any extra salt. If you want to add like extra black pepper or anything like that, you can. This has black pepper in it and it also has kind of a little sweeter taste. I mean, well not taste, but scent to it. So I'm just going to do a real, real light sprinkling of this just gently over top. And then of course our coloring, our colorant. And this one's not open, so I'm going to open it. I'll just use a... These are open. It means my dad probably used them this morning for half of them. Um, just Goya Sesame. And this is just basically the same exact thing. It's just a colorant. Just going to lightly sprinkle that as well. Um, maybe half a teaspoon to a full teaspoon of... All the seasonings together. Except for this one, I just kind of threw whatever else was left in it. And then, of course, we're going to go with our beautiful veggies and put them on top and just sprinkle these all over. You can open up these onions and put them down too. Kind of break it and sprinkle them everywhere. No, I don't like eating raw vegetables, but if it's cooked completely through, I'll eat it. But I love how um, like onions and peppers and stuff give flavor to whatever you're cooking, whatever you're making. Even if you just use it and create a broth and then get rid of it and don't use it and don't eat it. Okay, I'm going to do that. And then on top of that, I'm going to put the green pepper. Sprinkling of green peppers on here, and it just looks so pretty with all the colors. Of course, you can take some of those onions and take them off the top and flip it, and mix, mix it up. Look, it's catch, it's catching the colorant and all that from the meat. You can mix that up a little bit. You can drizzle a little oil on it too. I actually just put all of these beautiful veggies in here. <laughs> don't mind my family. Just don't mind them. Don't mind them at all. Okay, so after the veggies are on top, I'm just going to do another light sprinkling of the same seasonings over top to give them flavor as well. Not the coloring, just the seasonings. Just so it has a nice... And then it'll cook halfway through and then I'll mix the meat and everything so some of the veggies get on the bottom and all that. And 
we'll see. It smells good. So just a tad bit of cooking oil. Not too much, just a light drizzle. Just a light little drizzle. That was more like a pour, but it's still not, not a lot. going to take it out of the oven and show you guys. It's really hot. So. Hot. Hot, hot, hot. Back. I'm making white rice, so that's cooking in the pan here. And then the beans that my dad made in there. I'm showing you the pork chops. Oh, of course you can. Okay, so this is what they look like. It's got all the dressing and stuff on the bottom. I'll flip it around, but I'm going to toss all these around a little bit. So some of the liquid from the bottom can go to the top. Veggies are nice and they're still a little crispy, but they're nice and cooked. That beautiful liquid on the bottom. I want these to soak up. Oh, don't fall. So good. I don't want to leave them in there too long because then they'll get too dry. So, right where they're cooked, but they're not too hard, they're still soft. I'm going to let them sit in this liquid and get all that liquid back into, get all that liquid back inside the pork chops and, and they'll be super duper good. I'm just going to let them rest there. Oh yeah. Here we go, I'm gonna move you and show you. I didn't even record it. I was telling you, I was eating a piece. And you don't even need to cut it. This is a butter knife and it's cutting it. It's so soft and so moist, but really good. And even though it doesn't have any peppers or anything on top, you can still taste it. Really, really good. And it's super soft. I mean, I can rip it. I can rip a piece off. That's how soft it is. It's so good. And it's fully cooked. But it hasn't been sitting in the oven for so long that it's completely dried out. I'm like almost done with the piece I had. It was huge. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys. Here. Oops. Sorry, I'm wobbling. Sorry, I'm wobbling. All right. So we have the pork chops. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. We have our beans. I'm just gonna take the spoon and I'm gonna stir. It's got pieces of ham and beans and some of those peppers and some pieces of onion that I cooked. There's ham. And I gotta find beans. They're all at the bottom. <laughs> if I could get some of the beans up. Maybe. There's there's some beans. <laughs> They're stuck in the potatoes. the beans. It's a lot of liquid compared to beans. And then that's just the bone of the ham. But 
just for the flavor. And then there's some pieces of ham right there. And then there's beans. <laughs> and then in this pot over here, in this pot here, have white rice cooking. And it's not comp it's not done yet, but it's almost there. Like halfway done. So, yep. And there are my pork chops. Nummy, nummy, nummy.